Hey, how's it going? So if you're looking for the fastest WordPress theme, this just might be the video for you. This is going to be a really quick one. I just want to show you my website and how fast I've gotten it and a little few of the things that I did to get it there. Now I will say off the bat, it's extremely lightweight. This website is really just designed for strictly for SEO, uh, just to pop up articles when someone's searching for them. So it's really designed to show for SEO. And with that said, there's really, it's really stripped for of most things. But with that said, if that's all you want, if you're trying to rank articles, this might be the theme for you. All right, so the theme that I'm using is Generate Press. Now let's see what this website currently looks like, the front end and an article. So this is the front end, this is just the home page. I'm scrolling down, you'll see that it's just nothing but just a couple articles. Again, this is just designed to rank and show up on, uh, you know, when someone searches for it. So uh, this is an article. We're gonna check the, this article. This is a roundup a listicle article on GT Metrics, and we're also gonna check it out on Google Page Speed Insights. All right, so here I am on GT Metrics, and I will show you, I paste the home page in there, and I'll also paste the home page right in Page Speed Insights, and we're gonna check out what those numbers are. Um, I do want to mention that I do have a few plugins that help me speed this up, but it's really just only one. And it's also uh, not having so many plugins is really helpful as well. So check this out. I'm about to scroll down the page and look at these numbers. 99 on mobile and 100 on desktop. I think yesterday I even got 100 on mobile. That's just the home page. And let's take a look at GT Metrics. 100. Have you ever seen a website with a 100? This is what it looks like. It's really um, doesn't have much much things going for it. It's just very basic. Let's look at the performance. Look at that. Look at our vital. Look at our web vitals. Look at that. These, I mean, this is literally as good as you can get, as fast as a website and as healthy uh, for SEO uh, web vitals as you can get. Now, I'm going to show you what I am using to make it so fast. And before I move on, I want to show you what an article looks like. All right, so for this one, instead of the homepage, I'm going to grab just this listicle type article. As you can see, I'm scrolling up and down. Now let's paste this right in here. Click analyze. Let's go in here and I'm going to paste this article right in here. Let's see what we get. All right, so PageSpeed Insights says that this gets a 99, the article itself. It's a listicle. It has JavaScript. It's running JavaScript in the background, but it gets 99 on mobile and 100 on desktop. Let's take a look at that article again. It's not you know doesn't have any nothing on it it ha it's running other uh other things in the background it's pretty long and it has images it doesn't have a video but either way that's a really good score and 100 percent here so what did i do to achieve these numbers on generate press well two things one keeping your plugins to an absolute minimum so right now i'm using just a few plugins i mean honestly there's like what 16 active plugins i do use all of them or a good bit of them. I, I could probably get rid of like a couple of these, but so the biggest thing to get a website going this fast is obviously having it stripped down of like any, any, anything too graphical, any JavaScript doing funky animations and stuff like that in the background. The other thing is running a really clean and fast theme, which is generate press. Let's take a look at that theme right now. Here it is. This is generate press. So if you're interested, it's, you know, this is it, this is the version it's on and it is fast and lightweight. Um, and I've actually seen a couple of other videos that show uh, how much code is, is on the theme itself, how many lines, how big the package is extremely light. And that's probably why it's so fast. The second thing that is helping me run this website so fast is using the plugin WP Rocket. It's a paid plugin, you have to pay it, but let me tell you, you need this if you want a website to run fast. There's no other caching or, or page speed optimization plugin that I've ever used, and I've used a ton of them that got a website this fast, but not it's not just downloading and installing it. You still need to go into WP Rocket and activate some custom some settings because just when you download it, it'll be okay, but it's not going to be great. Some of the things that you want to optimize um, are, for instance, you want to minify CSS, uh, optimize CSS delivery, minify JavaScript. You don't want to do that if you're doing that with another app, like if you're using SiteGrounds native. You know, the, the SiteGrounds, the hosting company comes with an app and you can minify CSS and JavaScript that way. You don't want to use those two in conjunction. You just want to use one. So the one that I recommend is doing all your optimizations through WP Rocket. You also want to make sure that you're enabling caching and also optimize images. It, I'll probably do another video on WP Rocket. This is just, I'm just showing you what is on this website to make it so fast. That's really it. Now let me show you what it looks like when I disable WP Rocket. Okay, so I just deactivated WP Rocket. Now we're gonna test these same pages. We're gonna reanalyze the exact same page that I got 100 from and 99 from here on mobile, analyze again, and then this guy, test again. Let's see what we get, what happens. 
And look at that. We went from 99 to 64 on mobile and 87 on desktop. I should have checked the waterfall uh, before so I could actually see what changed. I have a hunch that in the, you know, before I de deactivated the plugin, maybe some of these are, are combined into one file as opposed to having so many of them. Either way, you can see that our performance metrics just dropped. It's kind of tanked. Now, according to the GT metrics, we're still doing okay on core web vitals, but I mean, you really want your website to be as fast and as optimized as possible and having a good optimizing plugin like WP Rocket is gonna do that for you. And it's gonna get you to 100, as you can see here, because I just showed, I just showed you proof. I showed you before and after. I'm gonna re-enable it. All right, now it's activated. I'm actually gonna clear the caches just to make sure that there's nothing funky going on. That's probably gonna drop the, the, the metrics a little bit, clearing the cache, but either way. Uh, oh, by the way, if you were wondering if WP Rocket's clear cache settings and purge uh, cache settings for uh, the SiteGrounds Optimizer, plugin it you know you don't have to do both of them one of them will will trigger the other one and the other one will trigger the other one at least that's what wp rockets documentation says anyway let's go reanalyze and see if we get a better score than 93 percent and what was it 64 or something and there we have it back to 100 and all i did was reactivate the plugin let's scroll down 98 perfect and 100 so there you have it folks does wp rocket work yes it does um, that's how I'm able to get my generate press very basic very flat website that's just designed to rank on SEO um, That's how I got it to, to be at a hundred percent So if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this about SEO web development and stuff like that Click the like button click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one